Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool object wipe transition in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right there, that, that is what the effect looks like. It creates this really cool object wipe where you have some sort of object basically just like wiping across the screen. Basically just like to, to reveal your second clip. It's basically a different take on a masking transition. Now in case you're wondering, this transition does cost money. It's from Ryan Nagel and it costs about 20 bucks. So yes, it does cost a little bit of money, but I tried to do this kind of manually or do this completely free. And let's just say it didn't even come close to um, this effect so you can definitely try to kind of do this effect um, uh, kind of for free or you could uh, track a mask that's definitely gonna take a, a lot of time so this will definitely save you a lot of time and I really do think it's worth the $20 but of course you can, that's kind of your own decision but I personally really think this is worth it and hopefully by watching um, this video you also agree so what you want to do is after you download the plugin you want to put it into your motions template folder and then you want to put it um, in your transition folder inside of your motions template and that's literally all, all you have to do to install so yes it does cost money it's from Ryan Nagel 20 bucks and the link is going to be in the description below but I definitely think it's 100% worth it so let's head over to the example right here and I'll go ahead and just get rid of the transition right here I'll go ahead and just disable this one too you'll see why I'm gonna need that um, or why you're gonna need that in a second Let's go ahead and play the video right here. So you can see right here, it's just two generic clips put together. Just a simple um, cut. It's not technically a jump cut. Just like a simple generic um, cut. So what you want to do is you want to head over to the transitions tab right here. And you want to go to Object Wipe Transition Pro. Now there's a custom one right here where you have a vertical wipe right here. And then you have a horizontal wipe. So obviously you can... Um, basically figure out which one that you want i'm going to go with a horizontal wipe all you gotta do simple as that place it in between um the two clips right here so let's go ahead and play it right here and kind of see the default um that comes with this transition right here so as you can see right there there you go the object wipes across the screen um and that's as simple as that right there that's basically the default setting um right there now as you can see right here here's his object type right here metal pole so you could go through maybe a newspaper right here and you can literally go through i'll go ahead and just slowly kind of scroll through all your options and these are all of your options um right here so you can go ahead and kind of look through and see if there's any ones um that you like and then of course you can adjust the motion blur you could adjust the x you could adjust um the y you could adjust the rotation the scale um the scale you could zoom up however whatever you want you can go through and mess with all of these different settings right here now you may ask yourself okay well what happens if i if one of the things in the object is not what i want i want a different object well all you gotta do is head over here to the drop zone right here as you can see right here here is a um a screenshot that i took of just um an nfl ref because it's nfl football so or football so why not just kind of have something that coincides um with football so i went ahead and took this picture off of google and then i just used a mask tool right here as you can see a mask i just cut out the referee right here and then what i did so you have to obviously cut out the person right here go to the drop zone right here click on the ref right here and then apply clip and then voila you have created this really cool um mask transition right here i'll go ahead and bring it over here so you could go ahead basically pick one of the objects that comes with a transition or you can literally create your own object or import your own image right there and voila you have created the effect right here i'm actually going to increase the scale uh, the y a little bit i think it's 140 or negative 140 okay i'll go to the y and type a negative 140 right here and then i'll type in i don't know like 200 right here to the scale i just think that looks the nicest um right there so let's go ahead and play it right here and kind of see what it looks like right there so as you can see there you go it creates this really 
cool object wipe across the screen right there and again like i said before you could go through these settings adjust the y x scale position you can go ahead and kind of mess with all the different settings and the object type like before you have a whole bunch of default settings but you can go ahead and head to the drop zone right there and you can actually select your own image or a png image um, so you can actually if none of these is the one that you want you could actually import your own image into the drop zone um, right there so let's head over here let's go ahead and play it right here and then all right and then this is what the final edit looks like right here i think it's a definitely a really cool um uh, effect it's just called the object wipe transition basically a different take um on the mask um transition right there again you can go ahead and download this from ryan nagel's shop i remember it costs 18 bucks and you just want to put it into your motions template folder and then put it in the transitions pack so yes it does cost money and yes um it is a transition but i fully i fu i fully believe that it's definitely worth it and hopefully by watching this video you also agree or maybe you don't think it's worth it but it's that i think it's definitely worth a shot and it definitely saves you a lot of time um, instead of masking out something, it literally just does the masking or, or does the tracking completely for you. I think it's definitely a really cool effect. Some people may want the thing to actually, uh, person to actually move. Unfortunately, that's not really possible with this transition. So, of course, it depends on your look and what you like the best. Again, go ahead and put the transition. Go to the transition right here, Object White Pro. Select which one you want. Go ahead and adjust scale, position, um, motion blur. Go ahead and mess with all the different settings. Select your object type or if none of the object um, matches your video, go ahead and select your own with the drop zone right there. And it's as simple as that. It's a very quick, easy transition, but it definitely will add a little bit to your video and maybe and definitely make you stand out a little bit more by having this effect because it can be really hard to do um, without this plugin. So it's one of those effects that I think 18 bucks is worth it because it makes you stand out um, versus the competition or versus um, other editors. So that's pretty much it. Very simple, very easy object wipe transition but unfortunately there's a price to everything and yes it, it does cost 18 bucks anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoyed these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also the final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 170 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace